Hey guys, my name is the Russian Badger, and I know I've been away a little while, and that's clearly because I was slaying Godzilla and bringing sharks to shore with my bare hands. No, that's a that's that's like the cake. It's a complete lie. That is just a lie. It was actually just midterms. So that's really the reason for my absence, and also because GPA is the only stat that I really care about. And I have a I had a stats midterm and a Slavic folk and culture midterm. Und Deutsch, und Deutsch, natürlich Deutsch. So I had a few midterms to deal with. And I'm not trying to say that that takes precedent or priority over you guys. I'm not trying to say, I see how it is, Russian badger. You like your binomial distribution and your standard deviation and your coefficients of variance more than you like us. I see how it is. And that is true to an extent because I really care about education very much, but... I think you guys understand. Now, we're playing on Alan Santes, and this is actually a rare game because I, I'm thinking about this ahead of time. And check out that no scope. I don't even need I don't even need a red dot on my mortar strike to get no scope call-ins of mortar strikes. That's how that's how MLG professional I am. Now, I mean, I, I had the same thought process as you, and I'm gonna get this guy here, but I'm gonna spray him down. It's like enjoy your marshmallows, but the joke's on me because my hip fire is awful. And it also gets my teammate killed, which is kind of bad. So you might think that the joke's on me because I'm awful with marshmallows. But you see, the thing is, the joke's on this guy because... Pow! Right in the kisser and enjoy three more marshmallows on top of that. That's just wonderful. But I'm thinking the same thing that you are. It's it's not like pinky in the brain, like, are you, th are you thinking what I'm thinking? It's more so... I would have never thought that I would ever get a game on Island Innocentes defending. It's like... Russian Badger, that's boring. What are you what are you doing, brah? Brah. Bro Chacho. Brah. That's so boring, brah. Why would you upload that? But surprisingly, I found it moderately entertaining. And of course I'm going again for the no scope. Pow right in the kisser. No. I'm going for the no scope mortar strike call-in. And that's that's clearly what MLG pros do. I mean, apart from crouch walking, hiding hiding in bushes, using Carl Gustavs with explosive weapon damage. I think no scope mortar strike is definitely up there. And if you don't know how to do that, I would learn. There you go. That's how you do it, right there. I don't need an ACOG. I don't need that noob side of an ACOG to call in that mortar strike with a no-scope. I can just do it with them iron sides. Enjoy your marshmallows. Now, I don't understand why the charge is purple. I was pondering this, and I was like, okay. If I could think of a color that would be good for an explosive that can blow up an entire MCOM crate, why did we choose Polly Pocket Purple? But... I don't approve of your conduct. Say goodbye. And I hope you know, these are total luck shots. Like, I take my time and aim for the head and hope that he's standing still. You guys know that I'm not like some kind of elite snipsaur or elite bush monster that runs around with a four times and owns everybody. Enjoy your marshmallows, but it's a far, false alarm, so I have to come all the way around here and come here, you. Come here, you. I'm going to get you either way. Come here. Come here, you. Enjoy your marshmallows, and I'm gonna come around here now. We've got another guy lurking on the hill, and I say, you know what? I don't approve of your conduct lurking on the hill. So, come around here and come here, come here, are you? Come here, are you? Bow right in the kisser, and that was the last one in the clip. Doesn't that look awesome? Oh, I'm sorry, magazine, and that guy has an epile epileptic seizure. Maybe it's like a diabetic seizure. Well, I don't know what a seizure is, what I just said. But maybe he ate, too, he ate too many marshmallows and that's just what happened. Now, get that guy with the PKM, pick up the saw, get this guy. And that was my thought process. I was like, okay, the PKM is absolute garbage at close range. So let's get a weapon with a higher rate of fire now. Come here, you. Come here, chicken wings. Come here, chicken wings. Give me your sandwich. And I think we all know why I call him chicken wings. I think we all know the American medic is quite... Let's just say that he is not exactly slender. I would not describe him as someone that eats salads on a daily basis. And I'm not trying I'm not trying to say something like next time eat a salad you dumb bib wearing dope. I'm not trying to say something like insulting his weights because I think that's just hurtful. I mean, different people have different physical situations. Some people struggle with obesity and so forth, but it's just his mustache that I cannot handle. It's like Clearly on Sunday, you always, you go eat chicken wings. I can always tell people that eat chicken wings for some reason. Now, he, look at him. It's just like me just reeling him in, reeling him in, reeling him in, reeling in that fish. Because he followed me up the ladder. I knew he would eventually, and that's just an easy heal. Now, the bad thing is, 
Godzilla here, and the reason that I call it Godzilla is because I was playing an Oasis game a while ago, or a while ago against this squad of all engineers. Good morning, Carl. Let's check your surroundings. Against an entire squad of engineers. They were all max ranked. That doesn't mean a whole lot, but they kept this Abrams up. No, it wasn't an Abrams. It was a, whatever that is, a Bradley. Up all game. All game on Oasis. All game. Like, start to finish. As soon as you get the Bradley, I believe that's the second set of objectives. They kept that, like, four, four of the five objectives. It was ridiculous, but I just call it Godzilla because you don't even know how colossal it is until you actually maintain the Bradley. And Wesley snipes, and it was such a shame because I thought I was going to get the guy with the UAV, but it's like, ha, the joke's on you, bruh, bruh, bruh. The joke's on you, bruh, because I have, like, a sliver of health left. I thought the UAV would knock him out in one shot, but I guess not. Now, although I didn't get the guy in the tank, I got the guy, that guy with the grenade. I'm trying to follow this bush monster. Where are you going, bush monster? Come on back. Please come on back. And I thought about shooting him, but I don't want to spray everywhere with a saw. So I'm just going to get his buddy here, and I'm going to continue to run after him. But really, after I get his buddy, my other teammates just mow him down. Because obviously, a bush that's moving around, it's like... Clearly bushes don't move, that's utterly asinine. Let's shoot at that thing and let's kill that bush monster. Now, I want to say that that was a great kill. If you can kill me with a Thompson at that level, wonderful. And I, I just commend him for that. It's like, well done, sir, well done. Because I know how awful, how incredibly awful the Thompson is. Now, the joke the joke was going to be on me here. Because sometimes my C4 totally fails, but I'm get one stick... Two stick and skadoof, say goodbye to your tank. But I only get one guy, which is sort of saddening. Sometimes you can get four in the Bradley, which is just wonderful. Now, if I don't get you with that, I'm gonna get you with each your marshmallows. There we go. Or eventually, there you go. Finally, eat your marshmallows. But do you guys have the same problem with C4 sometimes where it doesn't detonate? It's like, um, um, I I don't know why is this not detonating and you keep hit you keep hitting like the whole trigger thing it's like why is that not detonating i don't understand it's frustrating sometimes and you know what the thing is for me specifically i didn't kill that guy that's just an assist don't worry i didn't get that elite no scope headshot 360 repair tool uh, i did get that one but it's always whenever my c4 is perfectly placed like that i look at my c4 and i just say to myself I could literally not get my C4 in a better location than that. Not any better. Like, that is the best location. And then I, and then I keep hitting the, the detonator. It's like, um, awesome. It's not going to explode. It's like, it's always whenever you have the C4, like, right on the back of the tank where the armor is weak. Or you, like, stuck it in some engineer's mouth through his ski mask. And it's like, the joke's on you because your C4 didn't explode. But I don't know if you could stop, talk like that with a stick of C4 in your mouth, bud. I'm not going to try to imitate that, like, I'm not trying to imitate someone that has a stick of C4 in the mouth. That's just foolish. Now, I tried again to get the tank, but the thing is, I provided an adequate distraction so that my other teammate could have fused the objective. And that worked, but then again, it was already shooting at the recon as soon as I spawned there, so it was like, alright, let's go ahead and spawn into tank, tank shells. That's just awesome. Now, this guy's lurking in the spawn. I don't know if that's lag. Or if I have just supreme wall hacks in terms of my bullets. But this guy's going to get a whole mouthful of marshmallows. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm going to go over here for the defuse. And look at this. Teammates that actually defend me. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tear this poly pocket. Look at it. It's purple. It's purple. I think we all clearly know. It's like, I want to ask somebody a dice. It's like, did you hire poly pocket or Barbie to make your satchels of whatever explosive that is, and I get that guy with the snipe. And the, the G3, oh man, he blew back. Look at those marshmallows. Those absolutely tear somebody up. That is just almost ridiculous, in my personal opinion. Now, the G3 is one of those weapons that I don't always like using it because, well, basically it's one of the only engineer weapons that I can use. I can only use the UMP, you know, the M14, a lot of the more generic ones, and I get this guy here. And you can tell my accuracy is a lot lower when I'm still strafing, which is obvious. Whenever you, you're on the move, your accuracy is a lot lower. But I don't always like whenever people brag about the G3 or the M14. Like, oh, dude, I'm so MLG Pro because I crouch walk and I use the G3, which is like a really, really hard weapon to use. 
it's it's just like the M14. People think that they're so like, oh, I'm so much better than you because I can use an awful rifle, or that it's not really that awful. But for a lot of players, it's not extremely in effective in their hands. But just because you can use the G3 well, or just because you can use the M14 well, does not make you some kind of distinguished player. It just means that you're more experienced, or you can use that weapon a lot better than you can use others, or that other people can use that weapon. Now, I know that tank was already dead, but I always like to shoot one more rocket just to make sure that it's totally dead. And sometimes if you shoot another rocket at it, it will disappear so that those shatty Cathy's can't have a gab fest behind it, which is very, very convenient. And yet again, it is just dead on accurate if you have that single fire. Now that's... The G3 is also the weapon that a lot of you have told me. I didn't even know this. And you guys know that I'm a bit of a statistics guy. I didn't even know this. And enjoy your marshmallows? I think not. Couldn't even get it out in time. But you guys have told me that the recoil on the G3 is reduced by 50% when you're crouching. So sometimes, if it's at the longer ranges, I will quickly drop to my knees and then start shooting. It's not like I'm, I'm doing that like dolphin dive or anything else, or like I'm trying to drop shot, or, or doing the, the, I call it, you know the duck that they do? The, the duck, dive, dip, dive, and dodge, whatever that is, that a lot of people do. Well, some of the more experienced players do, like they'll, look, I'm bobbing up and down from my knees to back standing up again that's just awesome right and enjoy your marshmallows no he gets me he gets me with a thompson he survives at 21 percent health well done sir yet again i commend you i commend you in so many different ways i should probably knight you now i'm sorry i'm hesitating i'm like should i take a drink of water or should i not take a drink of water now the thing is if you switch from the g3 to the marshmallow gun it makes this really weird animation. You guys should try that sometime. It is just goofy. It is just straight up goofy. It's like, it looks like you're holding some kind of a stick. It literally looks like a stick with like a gold plate at the end. It's not even so much like it's a magazine. It's just goofy. It's just overall goofy. Now, I know it looks like I shot myself in the face, but I didn't shoot myself in the face. That guy's just MLG Pro with explosive weapon damage mortar strikes. Because clearly, explosive weapon damage mortar strikes are... I believe that's virtually the only way to platinum that thing because that thing can be really, really awful. Like, extremely awful. And, I mean, some games, the the players that use that explosive weapon damage on their mortar strikes, if you put that in certain locations, you can absolutely go King Kong on some guys. Just, bro, I'm getting a quad with like a, like a mortar strike. Like, that happens quite a bit. And there you go. You see that awkward animation? It's like, what are you holding, Engineer? Are you holding like a stick? I don't know what's happening now. You guys probably know that I cut out the beginning of this game. Now, I cut out the beginning of this game because it was rather uninteresting. So, if you were to watch it, you would probably look at it and say, that was rather uninteresting. Now, and yes, there's my final score. Some of you might be sad because I used the marshmallow, marshmallow gun instead of the big iron, but I will use the big iron next time, I can promise you. And Alviters ain't abyss balls, but I will show you the only good part from the beginning of this game since I cut out the first third. So... Enjoy this and do a barrel roll.